Hi everyone and welcome back to Construct 3. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can put text on the screen. Maybe we want to keep score. Uh, maybe we want to show a health condition. So I'm going to show you how you can put text on the screen. So um, let's take a look at how we can do that here. I'm going to go in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to go insert a new object. And when we scroll down here, we can do just text. So I'm going to click on text. And then let's put this in here. And you can see the defaults. And it looks really small here. Um, and if I go in and double click this, and if you take a look here, you can see this just says text right now. Um, let's say that I want to put in a health condition. So I'm just going to change this to health. And so I want that to show up on the screen. I'm going to click OK. You can see that it's still really small. You can hardly see it. So I'm going to go down here to the size. Really depends on the uh, canvas size that I started working with here. So let's just make this bigger. And you can see it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger choose about the right size that we want here that looks pretty good right there and you can make it bold if you want and we'll keep it like that so there we've got that but we want to show some kind of health state um, whatever the health condition is maybe we want to start at five and we work down to zero once they get to zero then our main character dies and the game's over so we could do something like that what we need to do is we're going to go to the event sheet and I'm going to go to open space. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to add a global variable. Variables are used in computer programming to hold values. So just like you learned in grade nine algebra, you learned about variables and they represent some value. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to add a global variable. When you do that, this pops up and you get to choose the name of the variable. Let's call it health. We want it to be a number and let's say an initial value of five. So we're gonna start with a health state equal to five and then maybe we'll go down from there. So we're gonna click okay. And you're gonna see it up here. So there is your global variable or they call it a global number and that it is equal to five at this point. So now if we go back to the layout here and we preview this you can see that we don't see that there we need to somehow get the value outputted on here and if the character is being hit like now it needs to update quickly so there needs to be a way to do that so let me show you that so you're going to go to the event sheet and we are going to go down here to add an event and what we're going to do is we're going to go to system we're going to go to next and when we look under general you're going to see every tick and basically what that means is every time we draw the screen and we could draw the screen maybe 60 times a second so every time we draw the screen we want a new updated score so we're saying that on every tick we want to output the latest score as it changes so we're going to click on that and we're going to go next and then we're going to go to add action and what we're going to do is we're going to go to actually let me just close this here we put in text um, but if we go down here let's just rename that always name things so it makes sense this is our actual health condition here so we're gonna just put it like that so there's health so now you're gonna see it here so here's health and when I click on that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to set text so here it is here under text you're gonna go set text click on that and go next and here's where you have to type carefully here what I want to the screen is I want to show the health I'm gonna put full colon space 
Then I'm going to go outside that quotation and I'm going to click the and symbol and then a capital G or sorry H and you're going to see the health pop up here. So there it recognizes that yeah, health is a global variable. That is the number I want to put to the screen. So you're going to type the and symbol and you're going to see these pop up here. You're going to see the global variable you've created. You're going to click on that and you're going to go done. Now it didn't register. Let's just try that again. Sorry, I need to double click on health here. And there, now it's popped in and you can see that it recognizes that global variable. We're going to go done. And so there, we've got it. So what it's saying is every 60 times a second, every tick, we want to put the updated score to the screen. It's going to go health and then either five or whatever it's equal to. So if we just save this here and we press preview and take a look, then sure enough, yes, we see it. Now, we haven't done anything to decrease the health, so that's going to have to be another condition action, and I'm going to let you try to figure that out. I'll give you a couple hints here. Obviously, we have to make the health global variable go down by one every time it gets hit, and we also need to destroy that laser, so we need to say when the laser hits this sprite character, we're going to destroy that laser so it doesn't look like it went through and did nothing. So I'm going to let you try to figure that part out. So that is how you can put a score or health on the screen and show that it updates. I'll let you try to figure out the rest. That's it for this video, everyone. Enjoy building in Construct 3. We'll talk to you next time.